telefonu pisać do tego waszego webu, a na łopą was to na YouTube tutorial jest um, in this particular video tutorial I'm going to walk and show you the process of using Adobe Lightroom to enhance your images for clarity and for uh, a good design. Yes. So in this particular video, I just going to be learning about the um, YouTube into Lightroom. Then we're going to work on an image. But before that, I want to take a few seconds now to smash the subscribe button if you are new to this channel and also like and comment if you have any questions or if this video blessed you. Share to your friends. Okay, so without much ado, I just want to get into Lightroom. So now these three um slash these three slash here is for is to um is just um everything you need to know about um Lightroom you can explore you can explore processes you can check um and maybe you can decide to just uh work on this now how do you get left you can just go to it and work on this yeah so just for like you know that uh android here so just download you have um that's what you know this is just going to actually okay just go to this so now um this is to set a line you want to set for a particular image that you love to work with on line you just press on it and this for your computer and this is for cloud storage and then you want to sync to your cloud or something then this all photos are the images that you have imported into um the light room so this is your beauty just as if you want to connect to your computer bits on light room that process you are connected on then you can these are your deleted images yeah and you have this as an album if you have an album maybe a stock photos your design and stuff like that can see the library and this particular icon is to import images this particular icon is to import images then this for shared folder this for shared uh this is to um if you want to share to the web if you want to share to the web keeping your your works on the web or something that's what this folder is for then learn you can learn on lightroom yeah i remember i i used to watch some tutorials here on Lightroom so you can do that then you can discover more about this so but right about now we're just going to be going into the Lightroom so I'm just going to tap on this icon here and get into Lightroom so this for device folders yeah you can decide to get into your folders like this then these three dots over here is to either select all you can see select everything now means you want to import all the images on your phone select none I have deselected it then you can decide okay what type of images do you want to import into um, Lightroom is it JPEG or you want to import all so I'm importing all that's where all these are ticks you get so let me add this back so you can sort folder by name I'm sorting the folder by that's why you have three I have then it starts numbers then it goes to A do you get so that's why it does that then if you do not sort folder by name that means it's just going to pick it randomly. Do you get it? Let me show us. You can see this shouting from W. But well, let me sort for that menu. Now I'm just going to go to the particular image I want to enhance now. Just so you can decide to select multiple images. I'm going to tap on this and add. You can decide to select in multiple images and add. So let's just add now. So if you notice it was text one now you see one for that so you now have it here now once you import the image because of this image was last year so it's going to start from below so that's why i have the image here so i'm going to say import so Maxine, healing, prop, 
set auto i'm not going to work in on any of that for now because this image does not warrant me to do that i'm just going to come to my light over here now exposure here increase the exposure exposure is if your image you brought in a, a dark image and you want to enlighten it you can see it what i'm doing when i brought it down is low it's again dark so i'm just going to increase it like a bit okay that's what this image is for and that's what this picture is for now i want to show you one trick now if you tap on this particular side it's reducing the um the effect of this and if you increase it's increasing it so that's what if you tap on this side that's what they do for you so i just drop that so as we know um properly so contrast i'm sure we all know contrast is to make your um images to pop right you see if i increase is making the dull part become brighter yes and this is what the contrast of c5 then notice this that if you tap on this side it's adding to so that's it. so the highlights you can decide to what's called reduce the highlights and increase the shadows you get depending on what you want to achieve like i said you can decide to increase the highlights then reduce the shadows you get but it's always advisable to increase the shadows why because the shadows helps you to bring out those um dull parts in the particular image you get i'm not going to increase the shadows in it you get so that's for that now tap and hold your screen to see the progress you are making you can see this those dull parts are already becoming brighter and you can see that and i go to color i don't really need much here for this image and where i'm going to again is effects now i'm just going to increase the texture increase the texture a bit then increase the clarity you can see if i increase it it's making it more sharper but i don't want this it is too much is too much i'm just going to increase the ds the ds is to make it blacker the guy can i like a dark a kind of feel i'm not going to do that here i'm just going to add the ds of probably five or ten yeah so tap on and see what the progress you are making then what i do again is to increase the grain a bit depending on the image do you get i have that work the grain of 10 and go to my detailing you can see this you can see how um uh, is looking more and i'll stop and hold on your screen you can see the before see the after then go to your detail increase the sharpening yeah increase the sharpening you can see you can increase the radius to that's how wide you want this to affect you can increase the detailing again of this you can see how the image have changed again so that's just basically how we enhance image i enhance my images you can see the detail in the hair can you see the detail in the hair let me off this you can see what is going what is happening now if i increase the detailing you can see how the hair is you can see how the face changed so that's just basically what this is you get now i'm seeing that the image might be i might decide to reduce the saturation in bits you get so that's basically how i do my edits on lightroom you get so this particular icon above i'm done with this image is to undo your edits one by one you can see i've undo saturation are you seeing that you can decide to uh redo also you get so that's just basically it. this to ask questions on this um um please to ask questions this is to save your image this place here once you tap on share you can now save to your device export as or do as many as you want i'm not going to be doing any of those here this if you tap on this here you can create a preset you can add to a folder you can start a slideshow particular uh, enhancement settings to uh, a particular one that you want to work on for the future or something so that's what this is for so but we're done with this image you can see how sharp this is you see the before see the after so 
that's basically how i do my edits in subsequent videos i'm going to be showing you some complicated images on how to